Hi, I'm Linda from Paper Boutique with Linda.com. My goal is to find the perfect punch system and I wanna share my research with you. In the past, I made a video on the ARC punch system, a video comparing the ARC system to the Levenger portable punch, and now I wanna do a comparison between this larger Levenger punch and the ARC system. Please visit my YouTube channel to see the other videos that I've done on the comparisons. Well, first of all, I want to show you the Levenger. This is the Levenger and it sells for $49 and you can get it at Levenger.com. This is, and I'll show you more in just a moment, this is the Arc Punch that you can purchase at Staples for $42.99. And like I said, a few months ago I did some comparisons and I'm gonna show you a couple of books that I did so you can kind of see the punch system in action. This is a day timer, just kind of a fun little day timer I made. And once again, this the video tutorial is on YouTube. But if you notice, I'm struggling a little bit with it. And so when I turn the pages, and this is the one done with the ARC system from Staples and the ARC discs, when I turn the pages, I'm having to struggle just a little bit. And I notice in a lot of other videos, um, a lot of people using this system also struggle a little bit, but I think it works. But after doing the video, I had a number of people, see I'm struggling with closing it, and let me just take my time there. I had a number of um, people email me and say, you know, try the full size Levenger punch. I tried the little desk one, it's just a little bitty one, and it did not work very well. So I thought I would make a book using my new Levenger punch. And these are Rollabine discs and I made the entire book using the Levenger punch system. And I'm just gonna show you this little book. It's an envelope book. And in the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna do a tutorial and show you how I made it. But first of all, you can tell that it just turns really easily. And these are just envelopes and I'm not struggling at all. Um, I also did a couple of flips so that you could map pictures. And this is an envelope again, and you'll you have room for a pocket here. Here's another flip, but the main thing, I still wanna do it this way. The main thing is that it's just easy. Let me just show you again. And this is just a little flip out. And like I said, I'll be doing a tutorial. So let me, here's another, another flip out. And I'm gonna open it like this and then like that. So it really does work a little bit better than the Levin, or the, the Levenger works a little bit better than the ARC system. And let me give you an example of why. This is a punch using the ARC, this is punched using the ARC system. And this is punched using the Levenger system. And it's just a little difference. But that difference really makes it turn easier. So I was super, super excited when I, I made my book, but then I discovered something that made me a little less than excited. I discovered that in punching chipboard, the, this is a medium weight chipboard, the Levenger system cannot do that. It can only, the maximum I could punch is just one piece of cardstock, an envelope, and just this other piece of cardstock. I could not punch chipboard. And let me show you why. I'll bring in the Levenger and I'm gonna hold this up. I'm not sure that you can see this, but you will readily see, look at the clearance, and that cannot be adjusted, okay? And while I've got it here, let me just show you how easy it is to punch just regular cardstock. You just line it up and punch. And there's little um, measurements along the side here, and all of the punch extra paper goes in here. So it's really easy to do. And let me show you the arc. The arc is wonderful because it has this handle. So when you punch chipboard, and I'm just gonna, but it just punches so easy. Let me just punch at this piece of chipboard so you can see. Look how easy it is. So I just wanted to, in conclusion, I'm, I thought I would found the per perfect punch in the Levenger system. But unfortunately, I do use chipboard quite a bit, so it really isn't ideal. But it's just like my Cricut Explore and my Silhouette Cameo. They're both different machines, and I love them both and use them both. 
So if you're going to be punching, you know, just a single, single card stock like this and just regular text weight papers and, you know, regular card stock, the ARC system will be great or will be adequate. But if you, if you want it to turn a little easier, and like I said, you're not punching really thick materials, I think the Levenger is by far by far better. So I hope this helps and for more projects and videos please visit my blog www.paperboutiquewithlinda.com and hopefully within the next two weeks I'll do a really brief video tutorial on how to make this quick and easy envelope mini album. Bye bye!